Limit class four islands that folks call Serpent Isle. Place has been overrun with snakes since forever. I hate the things, so it sounds like hell to me. But I've heard there's a woman who actually lives there. Whatever for? Why would anyone want to live in a place like that? I know, it's mighty strange. Place supposedly is crawling with demons, too. Last time I was in the area, I checked it out. Kept my distance, of course. Use me spyglass. And? Was she there? Aye, she was. Except she looked like a snake herself. I mean, she was human up top, but her face was a weird color, and her lower half was all slithery and wriggly. Ugh. Creep me out. A snake woman, huh? Even worse, looked like you couldn't swing a cat without hitting a snake. <sighs> Just the thought of it keeps me awake at night. You should have a stiff drink and get some sleep before you pass out on deck. I'll tell Benwick to give you an extra ration. Wow. Uh, thanks a lot, first mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> I ought to pester him for some of that aged reserve he keeps hidden away. Welcome back! Did you find the Therian? Yeah. We're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs? On my ship? You're not a dog person. I was... uh... bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry, I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know! I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... she knows! But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... what should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea. I'll go ask them. Thanks. We can't be killing off Therians. Besides, they remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey then. Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dogs. <laughs> get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. Ha 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 ha. I devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing.
Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? But... I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I... have to... Solve it! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have... vengeance. Solve it! Done. The art is attuned to you. Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. I've gotta say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. <sighs> I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. There's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian! Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him! You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up! So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. So! It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania, and allowed the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist, and are to return your Moloch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong Malak. We've analyzed your Malak's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Malak who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. When this is all over, I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. How can you talk of that right now? Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar! Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. No. 
Oscar, don't go! Oscar! What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll... Huh? What's this? I'm... receptive? To that art? And to you? Uh, where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamuana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. <sighs> Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... Wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... How can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true. Food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Time for some grub, Lafayette. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl! It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup. For dessert, I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake. Zip it, Mogilu. Oh well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay. I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like... Zip it, Mogilu! I haven't seen many Abbey patrol ships around here of late. I noticed that too. Do you think something happened? The Bloodwings said the Abbey's been quiet everywhere. Apparently some bad demons and a cursed pirate crew have been giving them trouble, and they can't spare the men to patrol the outer seas. That's Eifried's pirates for ya. Always gathering information and keeping on their guard. A cursed pirate crew? Isn't that us? If the info's sound, We've really made a name for ourselves. <laughs> Abby ships run and hide when they see us coming. 
Reason dictates that we avoid hopeless fights. Ooh, Shepard Arturius, you're my hero! <laughs> if only our enemies were truly that dumb. Sadly, the world isn't that forgiving. We can't drop our guard. Aye. I've contacted some fishermen friends of mine. They'll let us know if they notice anything fishy. We've got the first mate's curse to deal with. We can never be too careful. Yeah, with that Reaper's curse hanging over us, we don't have room to relax. <laughs> well, at least they're not too bothered by it. <laughs>